What is going on everybody and welcome on into the TC Trading Channel. So in this video, we are talking gamma. We're diving into the Greeks here the past couple of videos and the next video. So if you missed the prior video, we talked about delta. Now we're going to talk about gamma and ultimately come the next video, we're going to talk about theta. And so we're going to have all those three Greeks tied in. Now these are pretty important when it comes to options trading. Do you need to know Greeks to start buying options? Absolutely not. But will an understanding of the Greeks help you identify opportunities and identify better risk reward when it comes to your options trading? Yes, that is the point, and that's why we look at using these Greeks. Okay, so we are looking at Apple stock here, and I'll make sure when we pull up the option chain, we'll zoom in so you guys can see it a lot clearer, okay? Now, we're looking at Apple stock, and Apple's trading here at like 145.60. So we're probably going to look at, you know, contracts that are around the money, but we're going to talk about what gamma is and how you can utilize it, and the relation and correlation it has to delta the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure at the end of this one, it'll be pretty short, go back and watch that video on Delta, and hopefully it'll give you guys a good understanding, because these two Greeks, they're pretty much go hand in hand, right? So we're looking at the option chain right now. Now, we are looking at Apple stock option chain, and we currently have a list of strike prices right here. Apple's price is in the middle, and we have strike prices above and below the current stock value, okay? Puts are on the right-hand side, calls on the left, in the money up in the top left kind of quadrant uh, in terms of calls and in the money puts in the bottom right indicated by more of like a green kind of back shading to the, the uh, those quadrants. Now, what is gamma? Gamma measures essentially how fast the delta is gonna move. So here it is, gamma on the left, all the way to the far left column, and the delta here is the next column in line, okay? And over on the right-hand side of the put side, we have delta and then gamma up here, okay? So gamma, is going to measure how fast delta will move after a $1 move in the underlying stock, okay? So let's say Apple moves $1, well then that's what we can utilize gamma for. Now, the larger the gamma, the more volatile the option price because that's going to mean that the delta is going to move in a larger fashion with a $1 move in the stock price. So we talked about in the last video on delta, right? We have this delta right here, and hey, if Apple moves $1 to the upside right now or to the downside, you're roughly going to see about a 55 cent move in the option premiums for the 145 strike price, which we're kind of highlighting right here, okay? That's because the delta's at 0.55, okay? Now, when the stock makes that move, well, what could we expect the delta to move to? Because we talked about, okay, when the stocks start to make moves up and down, that delta is not going to stay the same. And you can look at these different strike prices. We have different deltas for different strike prices. Well, we're looking at contracts that are roughly around the money. So right now, Apple's at 145.60. So the 145s and the 146 contracts, those are roughly at the money. Okay. And so on the call side, we can see that we have deltas at 0.55 and then a 0.46. And we have gammas at 0.08 and then a 0.09. So roughly eight or nine cents is what your gamma is. So when you get a move to the upside or to the downside in Apple, right, what you're noticing is that these contracts, the delta is going to move by roughly nine cents on both of those contracts. And you can kind of start to see that across the board. So if you actually look down on the bottom underneath this contract, underneath the 146s right here, and then even above the 145s, the 144s and the 147s, notice the change in delta right? It's roughly around that nine, eight, nine cents, right? It's roughly around that eight, nine cents on that delta. So that's what gamma is telling you. It's telling you that when Apple makes that move up or down, how much will that delta actually change? And essentially how much more, how much less volatile is this contract going to be now that it's moving, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna look towards the upside and look towards the downside. Now, the farther in the money, that you are, and the farther out of the money that you are, the smaller the gamma is going to be, because your delta is really not going to be affected too much. The delta is affected a lot more by that one two dollar move in the short term. When you're talking about contracts that are right around the money, pretty much right where Apple is sitting at right now, those contracts with a very short move in the price 
could become a lot less or a lot more desirable for somebody depending upon the expiration date and depending upon the way that the stock has moved. And it's pretty much the exact same thing on the flip side when it comes to puts, except the delta on the put side is just negative because that's how it works. And we talked about that over in the delta video. So there you guys have it. That's what gamma stands for. That's how it's correlated to delta. They pretty much go hand in hand. Do you really need to know too, too much about the gamma? Not really, as long as you're paying attention to delta and you're noticing the delta move and then you look over to gamma and you see okay these are gonna be more volatile contract the gamma is a little bit larger here I understand that I'm playing more volatile contracts but going in you probably already know that contracts at or around the money are gonna be more volatile based on short-term price action movements that's why if you're someone who likes to kind of play options get some of that leverage but less risk in the money options might not be a terrible idea or far out of the money options as complete lottery plays are a terrible idea. For example, if I buy the $150 Apple calls right here, they're gonna cost me between seven and eight cents. So that's kind of a pure lottery play. It's three days to the expiration. Super lottery play, Apple's at 145.60. Apple would need to make a pretty big move for those to get close to the money and for those to even be roughly worth anything come the end of the week. But it's possible and that's kind of a lottery play. But if I wanted kind of a more of a sure bet in a sense and nothing's a sure bet in the stock market, but if I wanted kind of a safer bet in a sense, I could buy the 140s, which currently have a value right here around $5.70. Well, what's Apple trading at? Apple's trading at 145.60. So those are pretty much trading at literally the intrinsic value of Apple. And if Apple closes the week up around 147, well, those are gonna have $7 of value and those contracts would go up significantly more in terms of a percentage basis than Apple stock does because now I'm capitalizing on a move from about 570 to $7 rather than from 145 to 147. So you can see kind of the reason why people like to trade in the money options rather than just buying shares, it's kind of a less risky way to capitalize on a larger percentage gain in the stock price. So thank you guys so much for tuning on in. Let us know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this video, what your thoughts are on Gamma, Delta. If you haven't seen the Delta video, go back. There's a playlist already on the channel going over options and going over the Greeks. Check out that playlist. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit that thumbs up button. And I appreciate you guys so much for tuning on in. If you want more detailed videos when it comes to options trading, we'll leave a link down below to my personal channel. Over on that channel, I have have made plenty of videos in years past talking about options trading. Go to the more recent videos, go to the more recent options tutorials. I even have videos on options tutorials on Weeble. Highly recommend you check some of those videos out. Links to my other channels will be in the description box down below. Like always, thank you guys so much for tuning on in and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.